Hey guys, it's BTP Liam and BTP Joe here um, once again and we're actually trying out a vlog today. We're here at a um, medieval salt making site. Um, we're not sure how much is actually left um, but hopefully we'd see something interesting. We're also going to check out a wartime concrete barge used in D-Day later. Um, down here actually we've got something quite interesting. Um, we believe they could be World War II anti-tank blocks um, but the fact that they're in a ditch is a bit of a strange place for them really. Um, so they could just be part of the sluice here. We're not really too sure to be honest. Any ideas? Give us a shout. So we're going to head on to our next place. Quite. Don't know what I'm stepping in. So that is the mounds that you can see out there. Joe's about to take off the drone so we can actually see the site from above. Going up onto the top one now. It's quite a strange place to be honest. So, this here looks like a pit from some of the salt making, maybe where either water would have been evaporated or the salt would have been gathered. And then we've got this tall structure. Well, see, over time, the land would have had different uses as a farm uh, and today there are cows on the site so um, that yeah. would have contributed to the shape of this a bit but from above I mean there Not you bad. see them water lines you can really clearly see the uh, different salt channels yeah, yeah. To, to think this has just been like this for like 500 years or more it's quite impressive to be honest So just about to get in the motor. Oh, there we go. It's from World War II, it was used in D-Day. Um, they were used as supply, um, storage areas. And here we are with the barge. It's impressive how big it actually looks when you're standing at the bottom of it. It's actually massive. Um, still got some wood on here. The wood uh, presumably is to just stop it from hitting into other things when it's moored up. Yeah, yeah. And there used to be one of these on Canvey Island, uh, which is remembered quite fondly, although it did get demolished in 2003. So Liam has made it on top. Had to get a bit of a boost up from Joe. Uh, it was quite awkward to do actually, but we managed to do it. Uh, it's really interesting actually, because some of the metal hatches um, are still I don't know if you can pass it up from here. So if you have a look over here, got some of the metal features such as this hatch still perfectly intact which is pretty cool. 
it's all waterlogged inside um, but it looks pretty big in here to be honest Shouldn't it? it's just one boat got another hatch here waterlogged some nice metal details on that I don't really know what all that would be used for to be honest but there's lots of hatches some kind of rubbish that's been dumped in there the thing is there's no real way down if you were to get stuck in there I don't think you'd be able to get out without a ladder honestly yeah I mean it's a, a ladder but it's not propped up yeah we've seen some good places so um, I hope you've enjoyed this new kind of video um, going for the vlog style um, we're hoping to do a few more of these just so that we can put a few more YouTube videos out there and obviously show you more um, sites on video um, where we'd usually only just get photographs uh, because obviously our documentaries they take quite a long while to edit um, and we only really do them on certain sites that we think are really interesting um, so our vlogs are gonna enable us to show some of the smaller places um, some of the behind the scenes antics that go on as well um, so I hope you enjoyed it let us know what you think of um, these videos yeah so and that's it for another day yeah well see you later stay tuned <laughs>